Hey, welcome Social Church. I am pumped to have Stephanie Rogers here from PushPay. Stephanie, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Hi, Ryan. How's and it good, going? Good. Where are you joining us from? I'm from dreary Redmond, Washington. <laughs> I, I love it. It's a little cold. I love it. And I'm excited because we're going to be talking about strategies for Giving Tuesday. It's coming up. Let's jump into it. Why don't you get us started with um, maybe just start real quick with what is Giving Tuesday um, and, and let's go from there. Definitely. So if you guys haven't heard of Giving Tuesday, you've been living under a rock, I'm going to explain <laughs> everything. And if you have heard of Giving Tuesday, I'm going to give you hopefully some awesome tips that you might have not thought of before and how your church can really embrace this event, this holiday, and this like wonderful opportunity for generosity. So Giving Tuesday is a day created in response to the growing consumerism surrounding the holiday season of Christmas, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and it falls right after Cyber Monday on Tuesday following Thanksgiving. Um, so here's just a quick summary from the hashtag Giving Tuesday website. Since 2012, hashtag Giving Tuesday has become a movement that celebrates and supports giving and philanthropy with events throughout the year and the growing catalog of resources. So get Giving Tuesday, is this really working? Do people actually give on Giving Tuesday? Well, let me show you some amazing stats that just blow your mind. So in 2013, $28 million wow. was given to nonprofits on Giving Tuesday. Hold on. In 2014, that number grew by 64% to $46 million. Giving Tuesday, now for 2016, just last year, $168 million in charitable donations wow. worldwide, topping 2015's tally by 44%. Guys, people are out there and they want to give the charitable donations. This is a movement that's just sparking a fire and it's not stopping. Wow. And we need to be in that conversation. I am so excited about Giving Tuesday myself. I love it. So, so real, is, real quick, yeah. so you have Black Friday where everybody goes nuts and goes shopping. Yes. Then you have the weekend. Then you have Cyber Monday for all of us who don't want to brave the crowds, right? And then yes. on Giving Tuesday, you kind of have the folks that we all feel bad because we've spent money all on ourselves probably at this so point. So true. And now we're like, okay, I should probably give back, you know. So this is where we encourage them, whether it's nonprofit organizations, churches certainly. Um, and we explain, hey, you have an opportunity to invest in an amazing cause, an amazing organization, thus Giving Tuesday, right? Definitely, which is so impressive because those last three months is when 50% of the whole year's giving happens. Wow. It's incredible. And 10% of that happens in the last three days of the year. So wow. right after Christmas, right before New Year's. It's it's incredible. So this is like the catalyst that launches 50% of giving for that covers the whole year. It's amazing, the generosity. So um, real quick, that's interesting. A couple of things I'm thinking about is one, um, churches sometimes they take that week off, uh, which, yeah. which is, in one hand could be good, but in another hand you need to be prepared in advance, maybe scheduling some things out if you're taking it off. So I love Definitely. that we're talking about this now because that's a huge amount of giving that the church could be missing out on. Um, so yeah, so this year in giving, this season we're about to come in could be huge for churches, uh, all, all things giving. Uh, I know that's a big part of what you guys do at PushPay. So, Let's jump into how do churches maximize this then? If it is a big deal, which it sounds like yeah. it is, how do churches take advantage of this? Well, we're running close to November 28th for 2017 is when Giving Tuesday is. Um, so many things you can do. I have five tips. Okay. Um, so one, push notifications and schedule these out ahead of time. Gotcha. So if you guys have a church app and you can just like push a notification to your members, what this is, if you guys don't know what it is, is it's a little message that pops up on the fronts of their phone. And the crazy thing about push notifications is they get 60 to 80% of an open rate, oh, wow. which is amazing compared to the average open rate for emails, which is only 20%. So this practice is so effective for events and for Giving Tuesday and for your holiday announcements. Having a church app that has push notifications is huge. So that's number one. Love it. Number two, talk about it on the pulpit, like at the pulpit. Mm. Like give your blessing on donations to non-church related causes as well. That's like, a good idea. Is it okay to give besides the church? And like, does it count towards my tithe? There is above and beyond. Does the church encourage and support nonprofit giving? I mean, answer these questions. Mm directly with your church members, like make it an open conversation. Um, they're already asking these questions to you and they want you to provide direction. More clarity is just more willingness to participate. Love it. 
Yeah. Number three, make things mobile. The average adult, this is crazy, spends 35 hours on their smartphones. And this time consists of social media, checking email, reading the news, playing games, and giving to your church. The top 5 to 10% of growing churches in America use mobile giving to unlock generosity. Hmm. So on a day like Giving Tuesday, providing the easy, quick ability to just give right from your mobile device is crucial. Yeah, I love that. That's exciting. Yeah, number four, utilize social media. Okay, if you don't have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, now's a good time to get them. (laughs) Um, This is a great place to just broadcast your instructions, your encouragement, um, to broadcast like your goals for your, like your personal donation goals for your own church and different like charities that you guys recommend. Um, So make these posts highly visual, full of personal stories. Um, Use language like, please share this post so that way they're sharing it to their friends. Um, In addition, people at your church may be looking to your church to vet certain giving opportunities. So hmm. curate a like, list of charities, like local charities, national charities, global charities that you guys support and then put them on your social media accounts. Love that. Um, with that, pictures and video. If a picture is worth a thousand words, I love this quote, there are 5,400,000 worth of words in a three minute video. Wow, that's awesome, that. yeah. Um, in fact, according to studies by 3M Corporation, 90% of information transmitted to the brain is visual, not text. Wow. So 60% of people prefer watching a video over reading text. Video prevents visitors from leaving your website early without taking any actions. Um, these stats also say that video keeps vi- visitors longer on your website. Um, and people will remember more from a video than written content. It's amazing. I mean, Studies with even babies have shown that they can retain more with video than text. Yeah. So So that's cool. So real quick on that one. So video-wise, is that something as simple as maybe the lead pastor at a church doing a a iPhone video and just talking about Giving Tuesday? Maybe some opportunities to give at the church, why that makes a difference, or maybe some even opportunities to bring in some other nonprofits that the church partners with and just talk about, hey, whether you give to us or you give to the Pregnancy Care Center, whatever it is, Giving Tuesday is our time to give back. So is that kind of, would that be an idea that they could use? Oh, huge. Like having that personal story of like, this is where your donation's going and this is how it's going to affect these groups or these people and like just giving just to give and not knowing like what's happening with it but like telling them the story of like you're going to give to this organization this cause and this is what's going to come out of it like you're we're going to be raising this much for like the local bike station so kids can have bikes we're going to be raising this much so um, another country can have like a cow or so many chickens like having that quantitative data can just be like okay i know my gift is going somewhere and doing something amazing which is so yeah, I like that. I like that idea. So oftentimes churches have, as part of their mission and vision, some ideas of projects they want to do. Um, yeah. And if they don't fund it in something like this, it's got to come out of their general ties and offerings. So this is a great opportunity. Maybe there's a missionary they've been wanting to support, or maybe a project like an orphanage or some sort yeah. of whatever it is. Maybe make Giving Tuesday all focused on that project that you really want to fully fund. You can tell stories, you can do that on social media, you can push out email, push notifications, um, and make it really compelling. Is that kind of maybe a strategy that you could go with? Definitely, and then follow it up, you know, like. Mm. When you're done, when like when Giving Tuesday is over, you want to follow up and be like, this is how much was given over and beyond. Like there's still room to give if you still want to give. Like let's just, let's say you didn't reach your goals, but like set those goals and then talk about it to your church and to the people involved. So it's like, hey, this is amazing. Look at what happened. Let's get what your charitable donations did. Write a thank you letter too. And like that is so yeah. personal. And so intimate where it's just like you're writing a thank you letter, whether it be a push notification, an email, a handwritten note goes a long way. Just to be like, look at what your charitable donation did. Put up a video like, hey, we're here at the pregnancy center. We just want to give you guys a quick tour. This is what your donation went to. This is how it's going to benefit these people. It's powerful, so powerful. I love that. Um, yeah. So I was taking notes here. I'm gonna and I want to go kind of through your five points in reverse order. We talked about video, man. The the idea that 90% of what the brain consumes is visual, uh, so true. But 
man, that was just a powerful stat. Uh, we kind of talked about maybe social media, uh, incorporating that video, your imagery, your stories, your follow-up. Uh, so let's go to number three here. You talked about making it mobile. Um, and this maybe tie in a little bit with push notifications, but that yeah. is so important, especially for younger givers, um, the ability to give online and right from their mobile device and make sure that that is a good experience because yeah. if you go to a website to give and it's not you know ideal for your mobile device it's just a pain and most people will bail so walk yeah. me through i mean you guys at pushpay do a ton of this so what do churches need to know i mean if they don't offer this now can they start working on getting it set up getting maybe an app getting uh, the ability for people to give online getting a better experience i mean walk yeah. me through some uh, some stuff that they they need to know so things you need to know is with the 35 hours that people spend on their phones and just like the top 10 to 15 percent of churches actually already jumping on this, that means like 90 to 95 of the churches out there aren't using mobile apps for, for connecting with their um, attendees, um, for engaging with their congregation, for telling them like so many of apps, like you can talk about events going on at the church, the local kids program, the different things available or like where to donate. And the really cool thing also about that eChurch provides is you can, in your donations, select specifically things you want to donate to. Hmm. Like we had over $75,000 given to Hurricane Harvey um, because churches were able to set up like, hey, for this donation, you can donate specifically to Hurricane Harvey. And we had over $75,000 wow. go through that to donate to that charitable cause. It was amazing. And it's so fast to do. We can set it up so quickly. And so yeah. instant impulses like that where she's like, okay, we need to get this up now. Let's run it. It's, it was so cool and just mind-blowing here at the office to watch how many people were just giving from their hearts. That was really amazing. Um so other things that you can do with church apps, I mean, like there's the engagement. You can also have social media connected with your church apps. If that's another way you can stay social. Hmm. And then just setting up your online giving is so easy. Um, for me as a, I don't carry a checkbook. I don't carry cash on me. Um, everything I do is through my phone, my Venmo, my cash apps, everything. And so so easy to have my church app right there where it's like, oh, today I forgot my checkbook. I can just give today or I got paid today. Like, oh, what was the stat? It is an amazing stat where most giving is actually not on Sunday. Hmm. It's on Mondays and Fridays. It's fascinating. And I, I wish I had the stat on my hand, but it's really cool how it's not just Sundays that people give. It's any time of the week. Yeah. And it's so easy to give, whether it's just like, hey, I got paid today. My first 10%, I want to go straight to the church. It's really cool. Just discipline and making it so easy to do that, too. Yeah. And I think it's so important. A, church is having the right tools to make this happen and Definitely. make it easy and then b when it comes to something like giving tuesday i'm kind of hearing a theme through this is you really have to somehow get the attention of your people because there's yeah. going to be so much noise out there from best buy walmart target um, so many probably national or worldwide nonprofits. So how in the world do we get in front of the people which yeah. your points really help say here's how you do that here's how in the yeah. world that's so full of noise your church can get in front of people and you're talking like your number one push notifications that's a huge advantage a church can have um that target or whatever yeah, I mean, in fact although target probably is will do that but if you can get on their phone and you can notify them where it pops up right there um, yeah. man that is a huge advantage to cut through the noise um it's also i mean such a strategic idea to do not only like on a giving Tuesday, but if you can do that on payday, like you said, yeah. if you know the natural rhythms of your community and your people, and you can remind them as well, like through, and it doesn't have to be like, hey, you got paid, you know, <laughs> yeah, give, hey. give to the church. It can, you know, <laughs> can be much more s subtle and encouraging and stories and thanking them, that type of deal. But I think cutting through the noise, which then goes back to your number two, is you need to talk about it because yeah. where do we have the opportunity to get their attention? A lot of that is during a service. So if you're yeah. not talking about it during a service, you're missing one of your biggest opportunities to talk yeah. about it. So, so much good stuff here. Great five tips. Anything else in this discussion for churches going into Giving Tuesday to really capitalize on it? Yeah, you know, one thing I would really push and recommend is, you know, not push, just recommend, is have your pastor make the first gift. Hmm. Like, 
whether he brings out his phone on stage and he's like, I want to give to this charity. Happy giving. This Giving Tuesday is coming up. It's this Tuesday. You guys were all engorged from Thanksgiving. And let's just remember, like, with Black Friday and all the consumerism coming up to Christmas, that this is an opportunity that we're, we can be generous. And I want to make that first step. Yeah. I want to be the, the first to be like, I'm signing off on this. I want to give t- on Giving Tuesday. So that's, I think that just makes such a big impact where it's like, you know, you just you practice what you preach, like yeah. literally. And so that's just amazing. Another thing is we have a social media ebook provided by eChurch. Um, we have amazing writers and researchers who have put a lot of time into this. And you can access that by just typing in eChurch.com slash social church. And you can cool. download that ebook for free. It's awesome. Very cool. So if people want to know more about eChurch, PushPay, get maybe saying, hey, this sounds really important. We're behind. Yeah. Is the best way to go to get that ebook or is... Um, you know, what is the best way maybe for yeah. them to connect with you guys? To connect with us directly, go to our website, eChurch.com, and we have like a little like contact us button. Cool. Just click that. So simple. Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much. This, I think, is really going to be a huge help to our audience. And hopefully, if they can take advantage of this, yes. it, it can increase the level of generosity for their church, their community, not nonprofits. Um, and then hopefully it just sets them up to have an amazing year next year. And uh, that's awesome. So thank you very yeah. much, Stephanie. This has been a blast. Thanks, Ryan. I had fun. All right.